222 today. We are going to talk more about XLM and its micro cap projects and how uh, a lot of those are set to perform uh, extremely well. I picked three of them and uh, one of them that I am uh, particularly interested in uh, is actually right here and it is called Aqua and we will uh, talk a little bit more about that and I'll probably expand upon it in the future as well. So here is what uh, turned me on to this topic in uh, general. Um, the micro caps built on XLM are g g going to 1000x soon. Obviously that uh, is a very, very large number. So uh, that's a little hypothetical in my own opinion, but we will explain uh, what is actually happening in that space. So here is a clip from Jed McCaleb and I will just uh, let him explain. Um, so Stellar is, the Stellar network is much bigger than Stellar.org uh, where I work. Uh, it, it's, it's a collection of, it's a whole ecosystem of companies that, that are kind of coming together to make this possible. Here's a few examples of, of the people that are, that are working with us. There's a lot more that are um, still not ready to announce, but uh, will be coming out soon. Um, now that right there is not talking about uh, these micro caps, right? But it is an example of how well connected into uh, the Web2 uh, space and in particular the financial tech and the uh, financial s s services end of things. Um, there are vast amounts of companies that are not ready to announce that they are actually working with XLM at this point in time. Uh, so which XLM DEX tokens have incredible p potential? Um, we have a few of the micro caps uh, that I picked out here. We have Aqua, we have SHX, which I talk about a lot, uh, and we have Velo as well, and there is one more that I will actually talk about called Af um, Afrium. I'm still not sure how to pronounce that exactly. But if you go on uh, this site here and you go to the assets page, it'll actually sh show you um, all of the assets that uh, are built off of XLM. So you have Aqua here, you have SHX, um, and you have a few other ones as well. And there's um, Aphrium, I'm not sure. It is there uh, and it has a lot of others on here too if you just keep hitting next. Oh, and there is v Velo right there. So uh, I won't really talk too much about SHX here because uh, I talk about that a lot on its own. Here is Aqua um, and uh, the, this hide is interesting uh, because it actually provides a um, a uh, score. So uh, we go to Velo here, and Aphrium is on here as well. So if we uh, check out Aqua now, um, a lot of these uh, are D D D DeFi and uh, liquidity type of tokens. Um, I have a little bit more content on this one uh, in particular that I will uh, review here uh, probably in the next uh, week or so, but it is uh, designed to supercharge tr trading on, can't say STs, I'll just call that XLM as I always do, uh, bring more liquidity and give control over how it is distributed across various market pairs. It adds incentives and rewards for AMM liquidity providers as well. Um, so uh, it is the currency for rewards and on-chain voting in Aquarius. Uh, traders and LPs earn Aqua on certain pairs. Um, and uh, it has a white paper here too, which I won't get into at this time. 
but I do have uh, an old map from XX that I plan to uh, review more at another point in time. So from GDLT, uh, for how essential Aqua is to the XLM ecosystem, it is way undervalued at, uh, let's see, that's like one, that's like six, one hundred, six, I can't d d do math, but it is a uh, pretty cheap t t t token on here. Um, okay, so uh, it talks about AMMs as well. Um, and I believe I saw smart contracts in there, which uh, that is the logo f for Horaban, which would make sense with the upcoming uh, protocol 20 upgrade for XLM. Now, when we go over to Velo, um, they are connecting businesses and individuals with a global pool of funds to supercharge the velocity of money through a seamless uh, financial s services powered by our Web3 Plus system. Um, it's interesting because it actually talks about finance in here as well, which uh, reminds me um, of what, uh, which reminds me of what SHX can do as well uh, with its merchant financing program and uh, the rewards around that too. So there is uh, a lot of potential with that one. Now, I just heard about this one uh, a couple of days ago on X. Um, I had someone bring this to my uh, 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 to my attention. Uh, and it takes me a while to uh, even want to look into things or talk about things uh, because I am uh, I'm not pessimistic, but I'm very realistic. And I know that there's a lot of things out there in crypto right now that uh, can look and sound attractive, but there's not a lot of there there. But um, when I learned that it was actually uh, one of the XLM micro caps, I got a little bit more interested. So it is a global or it is working on a global, decentralized, financially inclusive, crypto-based economy on the XLM chain, powered by a AFR, AFRX, 155 country tokens, 155 utility, can't say STs, and a suite of DeFi and payment apps focused on the Africa use case. So that is interesting uh, because XLM has a lot of ties into trying to uh, to provide financial s services into uh, into the African economy, and that revolves a lot around um, what they rebranded to uh, probably a few months ago now, where they are really um, hyping themselves up on the uh, more peer to peer end of payments as compared to something like XRP, which has been concentrating mostly uh, on the bank to bank side of it, even though they do have a lot of connections in the peer to peer uh, payment space as well. So um, if you just uh, continue to poke around on here, uh, there it's um, a little bit more payment oriented as compared to uh, the other two that I just talked about. But we are still talking about uh, things like uh, DeFi as well with AMMs and uh, rewards. Um, there is a lot of potential in the African economy as well, especially uh, with the um, raw materials that they produce over there. Um, there's uh, a lot of interest in the entire continent uh, in evolving into something like what uh, the Chinese uh, economy 
turned into uh, beginning in what like the mid 1990s or so and that has uh, exploded to what it is now even though it does have its own problems so uh, I have found that a lot of these timelines and these roadmaps just are not updated very well on these sites and I really don't understand that but they are uh, probably occupied with actually uh, providing real um, real world applications so uh, yeah I haven't looked too much into any of these in particular but I am uh, becoming more and more interested in the uh, entire XLM ecosystem uh, especially once I began to look more into uh, the connections that uh, it has two things like XRP and the PayPal Mafia. And uh, I first came across um, SHX, of course, but I do believe that there's a lot more p p potential there. So I will uh, probably begin to talk about these kinds of projects more and more, um, more and more often.